Reinhard Tristan Eugen Heydrich was born on the 7th of March 1904 in Ala, Germany to Elizabeth and Richard Heydrich. Richard was a noted composer and opera performer and Elizabeth was a rather strict disciplinarian. At a young age, Heydrich became involved with both the violin and fencing, which both intrigued him throughout his life. Also in his youth, Heydrich was falsely accused to have Jewish ancestry and he was bullied for this at a young age. This may have been the beginning of Heydrich's lifelong hatred toward the Jewish people. Following World War I, Heydrich joined a unit in the Fry Corps, a paramilitary group, in 1919 at just 15 years old. By this point, anti-Semitism was growing both in Germany and within Heydrich. In 1922, Heydrich joined the Reichsmarine, the German Navy, during the interwar period. Heydrich's naval career would have ups and downs as he was promoted in rank several times. However, with this, his arrogance rose and his fellow servicemen began to dislike him more and more. Part of Heydrich's arrogance came from his looks as he prided himself on his rather Nordic and Aryan physique. In late 1930, Heydrich met Lena von Osten and the two went on to have an affair. Due to complications with the affair, Heydrich was dismissed from the Navy by future Kriegsmarine Grand Admiral Erich Ryder in April 1931 and would officially marry von Osten in December of the same year. Heydrich would have four children with von Osten, Klaus in 1933, Heider in 1934, Silke in 1939, and Marta, born in 1942. Klaus, the oldest, died in a car accident in 1943. As of the making of this video, the latter three are still alive. Heydrich's wife, Lena, would die in 1985. In June and July of 1931, Heydrich would officially join both the NSDAP, the Nazi Party, and the Schutzstaffel, the SS. This is the beginning of Heydrich's transformation into a monster. Heinrich Himmler, the chief of the SS and arguably the second most powerful man in the Third Reich after Hitler, met with Heydrich to discuss ideas for an SS security service, which would turn out to be the Sicherheitsdienst, or SD. Himmler hired Heydrich on the spot, he was so moved. From this point on, Heydrich rose throughout the ranks of the SS incredibly fast. In 1934, Heydrich was one of the people behind the Night of the Long Knives, a purge that saw Ernst Röhm, leader of the SA, or Sturmabteilung, murdered. At this point, the SA was growing incredibly fast, and it made sure that it was known that Hitler was the one in charge and that the SS was the paramilitary group most loyal to him in Nazi ideology. The leaders of the SA and other political opponents were eliminated. In 1938, Heydrich was one of the minds again behind Kristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass, where Jewish homes, businesses, and religious buildings were damaged and destroyed in a state-sponsored attack by the Nazis. In September 1939, Heydrich was put in charge of the Reich Main Security Office, the organization in control of all things police and security within Nazi Germany. The aforementioned SD, the incredibly feared Gestapo, and more were now under the control of SS Obergruppenführer Reinhard Heydrich. Just about anyone not in Hitler's inner circle could be spied upon, arrested, imprisoned, or worse, whenever Heydrich wanted. Following the successful invasion of Poland by Germany in late 1939, Heydrich, along with fellow evil SS man Adolf Eichmann, began to move Jewish people out of Germany and Austria and into Polish ghettos. This would prove to be the least harmful thing Heydrich would do to the Jews. With the Germans invading and conquering lots of land throughout Europe, Heydrich oversaw the Einsatzgruppen, SS death squads that would follow the Wehrmacht and round up and exterminate opponents of the Nazis, primarily Jews. It is estimated that around a million people, if not more, were murdered by the Einsatzgruppen. Heydrich was also behind the idea of forcing the Jewish population of Europe to relocate in Madagascar in Africa. However, this plan was never realized and Heydrich and other top Nazis and SS men came up with a much, much darker response to the so-called Jewish question. Along with working in the SS, Heydrich flew combat missions for the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, in the early stages of the war, and only stopped after he was shot down over the Soviet Union and Hitler forbade him from going back to the front. Later in 1941, Heydrich was made Reichsprotector of Bohemia and Moravia, which was part of the Czechoslovakian lands annexed by the Germans earlier. On January 20th, 1942, the Wannsee Conference would occur outside Berlin in Germany. Here, Heydrich, the aforementioned Eichmann, and other top Nazis and SS men would discuss what would happen to the European Jewish population. It was agreed upon that the Jews of Europe would be rounded up and exterminated at various sites throughout Europe, but mostly in Poland. 
Heydrich was the one who called the Wannsee Conference and would be known from this point on as one of the architects of the Holocaust. By now, even Hitler had called Heydrich the man with the iron heart. In May 1942, Heydrich would be attacked as part of Operation Anthropoid and would die the following month. Because I already covered Operation Anthropoid in a previous video and what happened to Heydrich, I will not rehash the details here and will link the video in this one. Thanks for watching.